Hey Beth, I decided to do a response slash reaction video to this Bing, Big Bang Theory episode. I've never watched Big Bang Theory, so let's get started. I jotted down some notes from the video and I'm just gonna pause if I see something that's being interrupted. So the first thing I notice is that there's an interruption there, um, but we'll see what happens there. He just says there ketchup on that table, and cuts off his friend. But now this guy starts saying, "Here's a fun fact about ketchup," and that's a res that's not the appropriate response to, hey, is that ketchup over there? So I would say that he is breaking the rule of the maxim of manner. Both of them are. One, the guy is, the friend is because he's interrupting what the other friend was saying by saying, hey, is that ketchup? And now this guy's um, breaking the rule of maximum manner because he's giving off a fact and not actually answering the question. General term for sauce, typically made of uh, mushrooms or fish brine with herbs and spices. Some popular early main ingredients included blue... Whoa. He's also breaking the maximum of quantity. He's adding too much to the conversation. He's not adding what is necessary to say about the ketchup, which is just, yes, the ketchup is there. No, it's not there. Berry, anchovy, oyster, kidney bean, and grape. No, that's okay. I'll get it. Later, a moment. What? If someone, and of course we don't know who this would be, does ask where you've gone, what should I say? I don't know. We just told him I went to the office. Are you going to the office? No. Well, how can I say it convincingly? Let me does go back. I didn't pick up a map. Maxim of quality. Later, a moment. What? If someone, and of course we don't know who this would be, does ask where you've gone, what should I say? I don't know. We just told him I went to the office. Well... This scene, he's obviously asking his friend to lie to him. He's not telling the truth. So he's breaking the maximum of quality here because he's expected to be telling the truth in a conversation and he's making his friend lie for him. Office. Are you going to the office? No. How can I say it convincingly? Just say, Leonard went to the office. All right. Leonard went to the office. And... His friend is obviously not being very convincing when he says that. No, not like that. Just Leonard went to the office. This would have worked out a lot better if you just told me you were going to the office. I'm going to the office. See, why didn't I believe you? And what he just did there did not give him credit when he actually does tell his friend he's going to the office. He's not credible, kind of like what it was saying in the reading. For a conversation to be credible, you expect someone to be telling you the truth in the conversation. And obviously this guy wasn't. Doesn't anyone want to know where he's going? Going to the office. At least I know one of the characters named Leonard. Why? Okay, I want to answer what I do answered what he violated, and then what would the expected response be that he'd just tell the truth and say. Well, actually, I'm doing this instead, so. Or have them call me if they want to know what I'm up to or whatever. Maximum of revela relevance, sorry. Benny, are you experiencing some sort of difficulty? Yes, I can't get my stupid door open. You appear to have put your car key in the door lock. Are you aware of that? Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> Okay, so in this scene, it's obvious she's using the wrong key. I'm trying to pick up where there's the violation of maximum of, rele of relevance. Um, I'm wondering if it's in 
him saying to her that he's she's using her car key and her not listening mm-hmm. and then he goes in to talk about the type of handle that she's that her door has Thank you, Sheldon. you can tell by her um act um by her response that she's not um into that conversation about him talking about her door handle. She just wants to get inside. Probably wait for him. Okay, and now he's talking about the Midwest, which has no relevance to her being stuck, to her car keys being stuck, other than the fact that, yes, she did do an audition. Maximum Nano. I'm into the music. <laughs> In this case, let's talk about, like, the expected response. I would have, like, expected him to say, hey, do you need some help? Or this is what you could do maybe to get your keys to work. And back to what she said about her having a rough day, maybe he would have responded with, like, "Uh, you want to come have some dinner? Or I hope you have a better night or something like that. More relevant to the conversation rather than going on to talk about who knows what. My side, the The object of settlers of Catan is to build roads and settlements. To do so requires wood. Now, I have sheep. I need wood. Okay, they're playing a game, and they're obviously in some way trying to be funny by using the context of wood, which is not appropriate talk. But... Who has wood for my sheep? So, who has wood for my sheep? Was the joke. And you can tell the guy has no idea why his friends are giggling because he thinks he's having an appropriate conversation or using the right words, but his friends obviously think he's um, funny for saying wood for my sheep. Um, I get the I guess the expected response from the friends would just be to say, no, I don't have the wood for your sheep. Instead, they start to giggle and laugh. And they continue laughing. Okay, he keeps saying that. <laughs> Alright, in this case, he doesn't get that the words that he's using are not necessarily appropriate in the context that they have together. Um, and the friends are picking up on that, but he's not. He's going to be doing this on purpose. Now, back to our game. You were in the middle of an erection? Oh, of course, it's right here in my hand. How did the care spot the maxims? All right, one thing like I wanted to kind of talk to you about, which was mentioned in the videos, how like comedy uses, I mean, a lot of people use um, sarcasm and comedy and like one of what um, Steve Pinker was talking about, we use the absence of pragmatics as a source for humor. So taking things very literally in this um, case, in the game, they were taking what he was saying super literally, literally as if he had wood and had an erection. So I connected the two there. Um, I hope you enjoyed my almost 10 minute response. I'm gonna let you go. Bye.